there, welcome back. What am I doing today? Well, I'm going to look at this. My LED light box or light project in a box, obviously, because I managed to get it in a box eventually. So, um, so turn it on. See, there is light coming from it. Not a great deal, but um, I can change each LED individually. You can see that getting brighter. There we go, nice and bright. Now, the main reason for having this light is actually to provide light onto my workbench while I'm working. So when I've got the camera from the overhead position, it uh, um, isn't drowned out or, like I say, I mean, I've got very little light in here. It's, it's pretty poor, so this helps provide that light directly downwards which uh, hopefully will uh, illuminate the area much better than uh, just natural light coming in because that's all I've got at the moment. Um, so there we go, so I suppose what we ought to do is have a look in, inside the box and um, see how I managed to get it all in. Okay, let's uh, turn that off and um, we'll have a look at it. Okay, so here's the box. As you can see, uh, a control for each one. On off switch, power, Turn it on and off, there we go, not a problem. Now, holes, as you can see, there are a bunch of holes in here. Now, the reason for this is that this box was originally doing something else. Um, but I decided to reuse the box because it was a, it's a good sized box. It seemed to fit just what I wanted. What I'd done is I put a magnet on either corner and then up on the, the workbench so it can just stick up there you go but if I need to take it off I can I could actually I suppose I could in theory take it off you know and, and hold it or move it around if I need to highlight something specific let's just turn that up so as you can see there's a lot more light there whereas without it it's got natural light so there you go, I mean, adjust them, so it's, it's basically when it's right down low it's virtually just natural light but I can quite quickly add quite a large amount of light in onto the workbench, but um, well, like I said that's actually Take it apart, I'll open it up anyway. Take it apart, I'm gonna just put it back to put it together, haven't I? So um yeah. So yeah, I've repurposed the box from a different job for a different use. So as you notice, I just drilled holes for the LED light to come through. But my idea is that eventually what I'll do is I'll cut a slot and then maybe use some sort of filtery type paper to go over it to add more of a diffused light to the uh, down onto the bench rather than just a straight light but I mean it probably works either way but yeah I would still like it to have a have a, a, an open slot get as much light out as possible get the screws out Thankfully this case has um, uh, machine screws, you know, not self-tappers. Self-tappers you only get so many times before the, um, the hole disintegrates. So there we go, the inside. So what have I got here? What I've done is mounted the LEDs um, on a sheet of a little aluminium sheet and then just suspended it slightly what I've actually used if I can uh, get you to see that better you can see that in there I've actually used two of the um, PCB supports you use on uh, underneath your motherboard on a computer so that rises it off the case so you've got those one either side just raises that little sheet of aluminium off that's got the LEDs 
on the back of it. I um, glued them on, seemed to be the, the best way to do it. Um, they will get some heat in there, but that aluminium sheet should hopefully help dissipate that. Um, <coughs> I, there, as I say, this has been reused from something else, so there was writing on here. Didn't really want the writing to be seen, so I, that's why I've covered it up. Um, then the main part of the box, as we can see, we've got the, <coughs> the switch, the power into the switch, then that into the um, voltage regulators. Probably sort of overdone it a bit there. Probably just needed one voltage regulator for the um, 555 timers and one voltage regulator for the um, for the hot all three in, um, LEDs. But what I've done as I've gone well, way over the top, one voltage regulator, which is a 12 volt, for each LED. So this wire will come in, go through one of these banks, so it's two resistors in series, comes through there, out the other side to one LED, and uh, so there's two resistors into each LED, and then it goes through into the transistor, and the base of the transistor is controlled by these 555 timers. And that's all there is to it, but it um, take a little bit of planning to get this on here, especially as I've got lots of holes in the back, which I suppose help for um, allowing heat out of it. Excuse me. So, but I decided to put these upright to get on there with the, the um, pots, partly because it would take up slightly less room. And I just found that because of the height, it's probably the easiest solution actually. It sits quite well, I think. I said then they come onto the three transistors, one transistor for each uh, LED, and they are BC. 335 is it? 336? Which one? What am I talking about? <laughs> well, whatever they are, there. I mean that's the transistors and then obviously it goes right out through there and then back down to ground which uh, um, they're all... I've used that one of the lines on here on this board as mainly as my main ground line and then everything's coming off there onto this board and then jumping round onto the onto there which is, and back round to, to negative on on there and that, that's all there is to it really um LED light box or LED light yeah light box project what do you want to call it however I want to call it um very simple Of course it takes a little bit of planning and consideration, um, designing the, the boards, designing how the circuit's going to be and what you need is, is one thing but then physically fitting it into a box is another and especially as I've um, gained this box rather than buying a box specifically for the purpose means um, I had to think quite a bit about how I was going to get that, uh, get all the stuff inside. I mean, it's it fitted in really quite well. Well, I think it has anyway. Screw the back back on, or is it the front? Don't know. Top, bottom, front, back. Get it screwed on. didn't sound good. Something just fell off. I think I'm going to have to open that up. What have I done wrong? All this moving and fiddling around with it. Wait, it might be the like the heat sink plate that I've got because it is a bit tight fitting. No, it's nothing rattling. It must be, I say, this metal plate is a little tight. I've got it quite close to the edge, so maybe perhaps that was just caught on something. And then as I've tightened it down, it's just gone clink. Tighten them down again quickly. 
Don't need to be mega tight. Three, I've only got three screws, one was missing, so <laughs> one corner without, but I mean, as long as the uh, lid's on and it's not going to fall off, then that's fine with me. There we go. So again, if I put the uh, power lead back in, and stick it up there, turn it on and uh, turn the lighting up. I have noticed that uh, as it reaches the top of the pot move, when the pot gets round to its maximum, the, the light seems to suddenly pop on a bit brighter than than, the, uh, than being progressive, it gets right to the top end. So if I if I just do one, let's do this far end one. Let's see it better. It's, it's brightening. It's getting brighter. You might not really see it, and then all of a sudden it comes on a lot brighter. If anybody's got any ideas as to why it does that, remember it's a 555 circuit. Give me a PWM output onto the base of the transistor. So if I turn all three on then you probably can't even see the components on there I don't think. Let's um, see if I can zoom into them. There we go. There's, a, there's loads of light there now isn't there? You know I could almost work out what the colours are on those. <laughs> Good job I've got my chart with me isn't it? back out. As you can see there, there's a certain amount of natural light that uh, that's coming in from this direction, coming in, but with this light coming in down onto the bench just makes, I just think it'd be a much, much better. So yeah, there we go. I just need to find some, that you may have noticed, Turn, turn that down. I've not got any um, knobs on there, so I need to find some knobs. And like I say, I want to um, turn that into a slot rather than three holes. But yep, yeah, there we go. Working LED light box, and I can could move it around, can I? Hey, well, hey. Brilliant. So yeah, if anyone's got any ideas on why the, um, well, as I turn the pots up, why it suddenly goes very bright at the very end of the turn on, on those, then uh, please put it in the comments. Marvellous. What else can I say about it? So there you go, that's my LED light project. Basically finished. Um, I do need to add a couple of other things. What I want is like a couple of boards, one either side. Um, I suppose it'd be like a board like this. I've seen um, other people on YouTube making these boards and they cover them in uh, 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 foil, like crinkle up the foil and then, then flatten it out. But it's still crinkly so it helps reflect some of that light. So either side, so I get even more light onto the, uh, onto the workbench. I suppose if I can get some stands, I could always have them so they're sat you know, like like now, you know, want a bit more light behind me or to the side. I mean, lighting's a major problem if you haven't got good lighting, especially when you're trying to shoot a decent video. Um, lighting can have so much an effect. I found that uh, without good lighting, you know, you can go from uh, what I think is a uh, a reasonably decent video to look, watching it back and going, that's awful. So yeah, lighting always have been a problem. But I'm sure I'll get there at some point. Anyway, if you like this video, please give us a like, um, subscribe, and all comments are welcome. Thank you very much. Catch you next time.